Built into Windows 11 and Windows 10 and previous versions is the ability to encrypt a folder or files. So let's take a look at how we do that. I'm going to right click on my shared folder and I'm going to choose properties. Now inside properties, there's this advanced option. So I'll click on advanced and then there's the option to encrypt the contents to secure data. So the reason you want to do this is if you'd like to protect the file and any files underneath this folder from anyone else seeing it except you. So I'm going to click OK and click Apply. Now I'm going to apply the changes to the folder, subfolders, and files. So if I have any files inside it, it'll automatically do that as well. Otherwise, it'll just do it to the folder, which is kind of useless. So I'll just click OK, and now that's done. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in to my folder and look at the properties. And I want you to look at something here because I don't want you to lose access to your data in the future. So I'll click on Advanced and I'll click on Details. Now, Details was not lit up before. I could not get into it until I went out and came back in again. And we can see that the users who can access this file just include me. So it doesn't include anybody else. Now, if this was a member of a domain, if this computer is a member of a domain, then you would have the ability to set up what's called a recovery certificate. And what that does is it happens as the administrator on the domain itself sets this up in case your certificate, this certificate right here goes bad, it gets corrupt, it gets lost, then uh, you'll be able to recover that data uh, by the administrator from the domain. But Let's say you're not a member of a domain because most computers, say at home, are not going to have that option. So what do you do? Well, you can back up your certificate to USB drive or back it up to the cloud, you know, that kind of thing. So what we want to do is back up our certificate. And I've seen this happen before where someone will run a Windows update and it will replace their certificate with a new one. And then they'll no longer be able to open their files. So I'm going to go down to the search. I'm going to type in certificates and what it's going to do is it's going to open up my certificate store and here's my store. So I'm going to expand personal certificates and there's my certificate that was showing up. Now the reason it says the letter X because my username is X. So if your username is Joe or Marsha or whatever it is, it will show up with whatever name you logged in as. So what I can do is I can go right click and choose all tasks and I can choose export. Click next. Yes, export the private key. Definitely need that. These the defaults here are just fine. Put in a password to protect your certificate. Click next and now the file name. So I'll put in file name of certificate backup or whatever it is that you want to call it. Click next and finish. My export was successful. Fantastic.